rusty paint spray cans. Um, this is what you get in a kit. You of course get a 400 mil can of spray paint, which is the rusty paint. You get some activator, which is this here. You get an empty bottle for the activator, so you can mix up the activator. It's one tablespoon of this into there, water, and then shake thoroughly. Obviously the uh, instructions are on here. You get a scotch pad, and a green scotch pad. You get a pair of gloves. You may get two pairs of gloves. Um, I just chuck kind of a handful in per kit. You of course get some very easy to follow instructions. Um, if there's any kind of questions, do not hesitate to message me via either the website, the Facebook page, or also this group here. Uh, I'm on kind of Facebook all the time to answer any questions. Um, and then while stocks last, which will probably be a long time because we've got 2,000 of them, um, here you'll get a free sticker and also one of our free key rings. So you need to apply a primer with this, unlike the other paints that we sell, this does require a primer. On these, you're using an acid etch. Um, if it was plastic, you would be using a plastic primer. Um, metal is normally like an acid etch. Uh, just basically a good quality primer. You then need to key the primer uh, once it's fully cured and dried, um, and ready for this paint. So you get your cam. As per the instructions, this needs shaking for at least three minutes. It sounds crazy, but as soon as you can hear the ball, you keep shaking and shaking and shaking for a minimum of three minutes. That kind of makes sure that the paint's evenly mixed, um, which then prevents kind of the nozzle clogging and also gives you a better finish. It's got a nice fan. That's basically a wet coat. So what you want to do is spray the piece. coat right just in the third and final coat a tip for you once you've obviously finished spraying uh, turn the can upside down and spray like that that will uh, clear the nozzle ready for the next use if it does clog a quick tip for you Say if obviously it's spraying, but say if that didn't spray and I was just pushing and it wasn't coming out, what you can do is take this nozzle off, be careful, and use some spirits or thinners, just a standard thinner. Clean the nozzle in a standard thinner, obviously wear gloves. Um, I'm just being an idiot and haven't got any on at the minute. But let it sit in there for a little while. Obviously dry the cap as well, which again, I'm not able to do in the video, but to do it, pop it on, and you can be back to spray and find again. Uh, basically, I've left the paint to dry overnight. Uh, gloves on, supply gloves on, scotch pad, uh, put water in the activator bottle, and then I put one tablespoon of the activator powder in there. It's a case of shaking that. I'm just going to move this plate out of the way, put that down there. Make sure that's on to spray, stream off spray. I'm going to spray the plate just to wet it and then the scotch pad. To be honest, I'm not going to need the whole lot, so I'm just going to use a section of it. I'm going to absolutely soak the scotch pad. It's wet through. Again, making sure your gloves are on. Right, here's the uh, finished spray can uh, projects that we've done on these metal plates. Obviously that was the start colour. Probably easier if you compare it like that. It was a start colour. Um, as you can see, very lightly rusted. Um, and that's that. What we've done was we applied the scotch uh, pad wet, sanded the paint to get it started. And then since then we've added a couple more coats of spray uh, activator. Um, in this case of after you've scotched it you will need to probably add a couple of coats and to do that it's just a light dusting like this like the other paints and then just leave it to dry right here's the finished results of the uh, spray on rusty paint as you can see it's uh, not a massively extreme rust 
Although compared with the colour originally, you should see the difference. That's how it goes on. That's it once rusted. Um, there's not masses amount of orange, so if that's kind of the stuff you want, um, it probably isn't the paint for you. And again, it's not realistically um, as good as our professional products. Um, it never was going to be, and it never will be, just simply because it's out of a single uh, single K paint spray can. Um, so it's subtle, very subtle, um, but it is rusty nonetheless. So that's basically the way we've done that with spray the spray over the top of the primer, leave it to cure, hit it with a soaked scotch pad which is supplied in the kit, you soak it with the activator, scrub as hard as you can, you'll see some areas that I've kind of missed um, around the letters, but to be that kind of adds to the contrast. Seeing as that's kind of dried, you leave it, probably won't be very happy with how the first coat of activator is, so then you want to lay on another coat. Um, I think I ended up with two to three coats of activator on this before I was fully happy. Um, and then it was a case of just, once it had dried, popping it underneath the tap and just basically diluting the activator. So you just rinse clean water over it. Um, this one had activator pooling on top, so you'll see some of the areas of where it had pulled on. Again, you're not going to get a uniform finish because it's rust um, and it's not going to be as rusty as our professional products, which is the tins of paint. But again, nonetheless, it's still a pretty cool finish to be fair. Uh, 